Okay guys, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple website um, in Action, Adobe Flash CS 5.5 uh, using ActionScript 3.0. So the first thing I want you to do is make sure that you're in the designer layout. So just like all other previous tutorials, make sure that the designer layout is selected. So when you first probably log into the Flash, you'll probably see this Essentials layout. This is not the layout we're going to be working in. We're going to be working in the designer layout as that has the necessary and essential tools that we need to create our website. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Action Script 3.0. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna go to your settings and you're gonna change the canvas size to 1280 by 768. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see that about two thirds of our canvas is only uh, is visible; the rest is off. What you can do is if you go on a, over here and you click the drop down list and then what you want to do is fit to window that way your whole screen will be filled with your actual canvas and what you're going to be working on okay once you've done that with the background what you need to do now is insert three additional layers one two three okay and you're going to name the first one or any one the bottom one we're going to call it actions okay the one above it we're going to call it background then we're going to call that one menu and the last one we're going to call pages okay once you've done that uh, you've got a padlock tool here you're going to lock the pages the menu and action so pages menu and action lock them and make sure you select the background layer okay so if you know it's selected when the layer is highlighted in blue just like this one okay you're going to select the background layer and now what we're going to do is insert a background so I'm going to go to my a file then I'm going to go to import to stage and I'm going to import the first picture that comes okay so I'm going to import that and now that's my background now as you can see the size of this picture if you click on this picture it does not fit my whole stage in the background so what I need to do is I need to change the settings so remember what we what size we made the canvas it was 1280 by 768 so we need to make sure that this picture is 1280 by 768 so it's got the 768 just needs a 1280 now okay as you can see it's at the moment is the pictures fitted now what we know is we've still got this white area here and some of the picture is on a move is towards the right so what we can do is move it so that it's on top of each other to make sure that we get accurately um, accurately covering the whole canvas what you can do is go to X axis press 0 and Y axis zero, make sure they're both zero so that now picture is centered and correctly in the correct place. Okay, so now that we've done our background, we can lock that. We don't need to use that anymore. We're gonna to go to menu now, unlock the menu section, highlight it. So now we're gonna be working on the menu. Okay, sorry guys if I'm going a bit too uh, fast. It, this is a video, so you can, if, if I am going a bit too fast, you can always pause it or go, um, you know, go back a few steps and then re-watch it all over again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to insert our buttons. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is first we need to go to window because we need the components. Okay, and go to components. So if you see windows, scroll all the way down to components. And now this will open up the control panel, components panel. Okay, if you see now you've got your tools, you've got your components as well. Don't worry, um, for some of you, your control panel might just appear here like this in the middle. All you have to do to put it in that location is make, click at the top bar, then place it next to the tool so that it, you can um, have access to both. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is on our components, we're going to click on user interface, click on button, and we're going to place one, two, three, and four buttons on our screen. Don't worry yet about the location of the button. Just place two or four buttons on there. Now what you're going to do is go to the first button and we're going to change the size. Okay, this is the padlock. So what this does is lock, it locks the width and the height together. So if you change the width, the height will change accordingly. If you change the height, the width will change accordingly. So what you're going to do is lock that. Now we're going to change our size to 150. So I'm going to make that button 150 pixels big. Okay, so as you can see, the height automatically changes. Now do that to all four. 150, 150, and uh, finally 150. Okay, now that you've done that to all four, okay, just 
Let's space them out where you want to. Okay. Now we'll just space them out. Don't worry if they're not equal yet. What you're going to do now to make sure they're equal, you're going to highlight all four buttons. Actually, let's, let me just put that one over here. Okay, we're going to do highlight four. Oops. Highlight all four buttons. And now we're going to use the align tool. So basically, what we can do is align to left edge, meaning whichever out of these buttons is furthest to left, all of these buttons will align accordingly. So if I click on that, if you look now, okay, all the buttons are now aligned. Now, the spacing between the buttons is not equal either. So what we can do is go to distribute vertical, it's a vertical center. So what that does now is distribute equally across each. Um, between each other. Okay, what you're going to do now is going to name the button. Okay, so we're going to go on the first button. This is the instance name. So when you do action script later on, this is the name. When you want to assign a function to a button, this is the name you're going to call it. So we're going to call this one home. Okay, and the label, I'm going to have home. Okay, do now do the second one. I'm going to call this one about us. Okay, notice there's no spacing in between, there's no, okay, what, the reason for this is, in, as you may know from previous programming experience, whether it's Visual Basic or in a spreadsheet, that when it comes to coding, you should, uh, there should not be any spaces between letters. So you can replace it with an underscore, or you can do what I've done, is have the second one uppercase um, word as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to change the label call it about us. Note that I can put a space here because this is a label that's going to be going on the button. So you know what button is. As you can see it's changed to about us. So whatever you want to be, you want printed there, you write in the label section. So next one we're going to call gallery. <coughs> and we're going to name the label gallery. Okay, you're going to go to Last one, I'm going to call it contact us. Okay, uh, contact us with a space here. Okay, now that we've done those four buttons, okay, that's our menu, the four buttons. What we're going to move on to now is our the title. Okay, so we're going to click on the text tool here. Okay, we're going to choose the font that we want. Okay, I'm just going to stick to Calibre for now. Uh, once you've done that, Okay, once you've selected the text that you want, okay, size I'm going to change to about, let's say, 50. And the color I'm going to keep it as black. No, wait, should I? No, I'm going to change to red. So I'm going to have red text here. Okay, I'm going to put that, write that text here. I'm going to write, I'm going to call this a website. So my first flash website. Okay, so that's going to be my title. Okay. Highlight it to move it in the right location. What I want to do as well is align this centrally. So I'll click on the paragraph tool here to align it centrally, just like you would do in Word. Okay, so now as you can see, it's got the My First Flash website. Okay, what I want to do now is I'm going to put a background layer. So, we, okay, we've already got the background, but we need um, a background for where all our content is going to go on. So for that, we're going to use this. We're going to use the rectangle tool. Okay, if the line is black. We're going to make sure that it's transparent sorry transparent we don't want any outlining because if you know if you've used flash before you know, and you know that when you use shapes they always have an outlining and when you try moving that shape the shape will move but the outline or the line on the outside will stay in the same location okay to avoid that happening we're going to use the uh, a transparent outline also we're going to change the color okay the background let's let me use a nice blue background here Okay, what I'm going to do here, if you look at a color panel over here, where it says alpha, I'm going to change that to 50%. Okay, we'll see in a bit why I'm going to do that. So at the moment, as you can see, it's now going to a transparent color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that rectangle now on the screen. Okay, as you can see, the rectangle is transparent, but that's fine, because that's how we want it. Okay, what you're going to make sure is um, click on the selection tool here, click on the background, and... To make it a pro, um, good size, I'm going to make it 1,000 by, okay, if you notice there, if I change that to 700 now, the width will change automatically. The reason for that is because I've locked it, okay, if I unlock it now, and I change that width, only the width will change, the height will stay the same, okay, once I've done that, I'm going to move this into a 
nice position where I think is best suited. I think it's suited there. That's perfectly fine. Now that I've done that, okay, that's my menu layer finished. So I'm going to lock that and I'm going to unlock pages. Okay, what I'm going to do now, and the only thing I'm going to do in the pages layer is write the word across the top. If it lets me, oops, I'm not selecting it. Okay, I'm going to write the word home page. Notice that this is the same color as the background, so I need to, sorry, okay, I need to change that to red. And if you notice that it's, this one's transparent as well, so what we're going to do is I'm going to change that back to 100%. Okay, now I'm going to move that text into the location I want it to. So I'm going to use a selection tool. Right, nice center. I think that's quite central. Okay, now that I've done that, that's it. That's my page is done now. So now, if I'm happy with that, if I run this, if I press Control and Enter and run this, the only thing I should see is home page, just like that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the other three pages. So what I'm, firstly, what I'm going to do is select frame number one on pages and the pages layer I'm also going to select the menu and the background so press shift so once I've selected the first one press shift hold down shift and then I'm going to go straight to the background first frame of the background layer oops it work this time okay so if you look now the first frame of each of the top three layers not the last one do not select the actions layer so just the pages the menu the background is selected what I'm going to do now is right click it, copy frames, and then I'm going to go to frame 2 of each of those three layers. So frame 2 of pages, frame 2 of menu, frame 2 of background. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste frames. Okay, notice it's right click and paste frame. Do not, whatever you do, do not press Ctrl and V, paste it that way. You have to do right click and paste frames. You can do that again. For frames three on each of those layers, paste frame, and one more time because that's all your four pages, and paste frames. Okay, now that you've done that, what I want you to do is go to to page. We're still we're going to work on a pages layer. Now the first one is a home page. That's fine. You want that to be home page. Second one is the about us page. So we're going to change that to about us. Okay. That's it. Then the third one we're going to go to, and that's going to be our gallery. So we're going to change that to gallery. And the last one, if we go to that, okay, we're going to change that to contact us. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got all the four pages done. If we push to see if we've done it correctly, press Control and Enter. Okay, now that you see, if you look at it, um, Everything stays the same, so the but the buttons are the same, the title of the website is the same, this um, blue background is the same. The only thing that changes is the text in the middle. So if this working like that, then you've done everything correctly so far. Obviously, it doesn't look like a website yet, but what if you if that's what your website or is if that's what your anim uh, flash looks like, you're doing um, something right. Okay, the reason that's happening, let me just show you using the timeline. Okay, frame one, you've got the home page. Then frame two is about us. Frame three is gallery. And frame four is the contact us. And that's what it's doing. It's just keep going around in circle over these each of these pages. And that's what's happening. Okay, what you're going to do now is we've done our main layout. Now, the only thing we left to do is the action script. So what we're going to do is go to our actions layer. And we're going to push F9. 